Hey all, welcome to Machu Picchu temple, the place where we are going to get the second crystal. Let's see how hard it is to get the crystal. It does look like we are starting with the puzzles already. Each gate needs to be unlocked on the corresponding floor. Writing the magical prisils on that floor. Okay. And that says. Send deeper. Okay, let's see. So we might have stones in here. There are so many cobwebs here. Looks like a place which nobody has visited for ages. The key is probably here because nobody else was able to secure the crystals. gates and the end of it we have the crystal to open these gates we have to descend deeper hmm. looks like I have to pull this instead of push so I will go back place it here and pull it out now I can take it to the other side is a 936 tiles long and will cost around 1.54 million energy some gate opened oh this one opened it has a lever that activates one of the braziers for the other one we have other liver and it still needs this stone. Uh, I should be pulling this instead. So again what I did on the other side, I'm going to repeat that here. Although that still may not be enough. We we'll have to take it further again, push it up. Or what I could do is take it to this end, push it one down and then come from the other side and pull it back. I don't know which one was faster taking it inside or going around but this is surely uh, better in terms of thinking anyway so that has activated the second brazier and has opened one of the gates 
Now to open the second gate, we have to go deeper into the temple. We have three such layers. That is probably the way to go outside and on the left is the way to go deeper. So I'm going to go outside first. And we have some puzzles. So blue plus red is grey. No, we can't start from there. This is something we can start from. So grey is 6. That is for sure. Uh, I'm not sure where we have to place it. On the lower ones or up there. I think lower it is. So grey 6. Mm, what else could we do with the grey? I don't know. Should have been something else as well. Okay, let's see. Grey 6, blue plus red is 6. So, what could be blue plus red? Hmm. We have grey and blue in this lower equation as well, but that also uses green. So this is some like something like pure maths. Uh, I'm going to try and substitute some numbers. Okay, so let's assume blue is two and red is four. So 2 into 4 will make it 8, 8 minus 6 will make it 2. So that sounds right, my assumption was right, blue should be 2, red should be 4. Uh, green is 8, so might as well place it on the green. and red is 4 so yes that opens up the gate and we have several more gates here interesting this one just takes us back let's try the left this has something and some other gates as well but yes it does have a lever so I'm going to try and press that, I mean pull that, opened up a gate and we seem to have some hint. One number is correct and also correctly placed. Oh, I love these kind of puzzles, I have done this in the childhood. So 6 at 2, one number is correct and correctly placed. to one number is correct and correctly placed. I got to remember that. I have no idea where I'm going. thing we have one yellow so it will be placed up here we have two oranges so they will be in the second layer and we have three reds so they will be in the third layer but I still cannot forget six eight two and one number of them is correctly placed that's something I should be not be forgetting anyway We don't seem to have anything in there, so I have no idea why I'm doing this at all. So that 
was like nothing. Now let's go find more hints. One tire, one little turtle tower to cross the night, four roads to cross with two little birds watching her from the three. Okay, so in order one, four, two, three. So one, I think I already pulled that. Anyway, it doesn't matter if you pull it again. It only matters you pull them in the right order. One, four, two, three. That will be the order. And we have another gate open and another puzzle. Okay, I didn't need to pull that anyway. So let's read the numbers. One number is correct but placed incorrectly. So 682. 682. Uh, okay, 682. Let's just assume that. And one of them is placed incorrectly. So 682. If 2 is the number. It was placed correctly there and it's placed incorrectly here. So that is quite possible. 1 and 3 are not in the number. So 2 is at the third position is my assumption. 6, 8, 1, 3. Neither of these four form the first two digits. And again, we forgot we don't have anything here apart from that amethyst inside. But let's just do it anyway. This is probably the solution part and we don't know the solution yet so no point of coming here we have the final lever inside the brazier final one but I guess we should be going back and read it more hints Where we are. Should I be going back there? Oh, we are back at the base. We are not supposed to be at the base. Let me go back. And looks like we are starting from scratch. So I am going to explore a different path this time in search of more hints. Two are correct, both are placed incorrectly. So my assumption that two is in the third position is getting stronger. I am going to assume that as correct. So 2 is in 3rd position and we have either 0 or 5 at the 1st or 2nd position. Either 0 at the 1st or 5 at the 1st or 2nd. That's a nice hidden hint. One is correct but placed incorrectly. Uh, 4, 6, 1, 4. Okay, that does not give much of a hint. We were here earlier and going on any path just takes me back outside. So let's repeat. Again, 
again that takes me back outside. Where exactly am I supposed to go? That takes me back. Come on, tell me the right path. Okay, that looks like a right path. But we can't access the bridge from this side. We have to go to the top. No, looks like we were at the wrong place. And again, I have no idea how to reach that place. To the left side, we can try. No, that takes me back outside and that's not where I wanted to be. Oh, we are jumping places even if we are going in the same gate. Not too many places, but yeah, at least some kind of jump. Okay, this took us to the right place. Let's see. All those numbers are incorrect. Uh, that's not a very good hint, but yeah. We don't have seven, three, eight, one, three, and what else? So one, three, seven, eight are invalid. Something else was there that was invalid. Uh, I kind of forgot. Anyway, so we don't have seven, three, eight. Let's look for more hints. Two numbers are correct, but both placed incorrectly. So I can safely assume four or zero is one of those numbers. And we have not ruled out either four or nine. So zero we had seen earlier in one of the numbers. And it was in the center and placed incorrectly. The third position is already blocked by 2, so 0 is likely the first number. So 0 dash 2 is my solution so far. This might be final revelation or something. Let's see what we have there. One number is correct but placed incorrectly, so it is 0. Zero is at the first place, not the third. Three and eight both are not in our number. We already ruled that out. So zero is almost confirmed to be at the first place. This will confirm it. Two are correct, but both incorrect. So zero and two are the correct numbers and both are placed incorrectly. Five is also not present in our number. The central number is what we are not yet figured out. One number is correct but placed incorrectly. So it's either 6 or 4. So we are very much close. 0 dash 2, 0 6 2 or 0 4 2. Maybe this board gives us a hint. One number is correctly placed. No, that's 2. So yes, that gives us a perfect hint. 6 is also not present, so that rule 6 out. The correct code is 042. Now all I have to do is find the final area. I have no idea of the path. I had reached it somehow. But now I don't know how to retrace it. We are on the right path. Uh, I don't remember from uh, where did we go from here. Okay, that was not the place, and we are finally there. Okay. 
so 0 4 2 is my guess let's see how correct that is take that out okay not hard enough and that's the correct number so did you figure that out i love these kind of puzzles so i'm quite good at it so we have activated the second one and we can go deeper should we check uh, the second gate has opened up so we can continue downward This one is a pit puzzle. And both the left and right side are interconnected by hidden tiles. I am sticking to the left for now. Circle and star we can use in some of those places. This has got us a line which we will need on the left side. We can continue. This is just the start. Let's see how complex it gets ahead. Even if not com uh, complex, this indeed is time consuming. Uh, we can't do anything with that circle yet. Uh, I don't know if. Okay, yes, we have another line here. I was thinking like that line we should have placed here. Triangle, where do we need a triangle? Oh, for the star. There's a hidden tile with a lot of corn and some coins so the star we can't place directly we have to play with the circle first so this circle from outside we can put it in this one and because this is in place we can place the other circle and because the other circle is in place we have enough space to place the star so 
so hey i did not need this circle here at all so they did not think this well enough that's a sapphire and that lights two braziers but that is not they are not the final ones the final ones are in the center this one has only opened one of the gates to them the other gate is opened with something on the right side so a lot of stone although at this point i am quite sure that you don't need stone you might have already unlocked all your underground camp so over to the other side we could skip this circle and star just because there was a shortcut from the walls need yet we need a triangle first for the triangle we need the circle everything is interconnected normal in pit puzzles everything is interconnected you need to fill all the pits in most cases one exception is just here outside that circle and star you don't need to fill because you found another shortcut but yeah in most cases you have to fill all the pits the star right now this one is a bigger one place a circle in the center followed by a star then we need a triangle which is available looks like we don't need to place that line at all it's not interrupting us in any way Yes, we do not need to place that line at all and we can continue possibly the end of this floor there must be a lever right there and that would have opened up the second gate and you can activate the main brazier
okay missed a few tiles here technically you don't need to place these two stones but if you want to get the tile in the center of them you will have to place at least one of them okay that's all the tiles here now let's activate there we go so I'm not really going back to check if it has activated I mean opened up or not I'm just going to continue on to the next floor because I'm quite sure it has opened up again we seem to have some counting puzzle I mean the same numbers will go on the same number interlinked symbols uh, I don't need that many chains, but this seems a little tricky because there are two sets of one and two sets of two. So which one will go where is a questionable thing. Maybe there could be some other hint telling us what could go where. Or, um, let's see, we have four blue, three green, and two white. So, yes, three green will go in the center, two whites on the extreme ends. Okay, I'm going to start placing them. stones does that look like a bonus I don't think there is enough of anything They seem to be ending new world on a really good note. Some interesting levels, full of puzzles. This is what I expect out of the game. So I'm loving this end of new world. Let's see if Terra has such interesting uh, puzzles or something. Anyway, that's still far away. We are. We still have few more locations to do after the father's quest line. And father's quest line itself has two more after this. Uh, so this seemed to do nothing. Was that the final? No, that probably is not. We have something on the left. And this looks like Sudoku. Uh, 2 by 2 uh, or I should say 4 by 4 there should be a surboard somewhere explaining the rules they wouldn't expect people to know this by themselves although I know we are surboard for you great that is Sudoku so this 2x2 two two is a very simple version of it. So I'll explain the logic as well. 
so one is in this line so it cannot be here so there's only one space in this box which is this now in this box since we already have one in the bottom line this is the only place where one could possibly go and now since we have four in this second column there is only one place it possibly could go now two is missing from the top left box three is missing from the bottom left four is missing from the bottom right and now since we have two in column number three it can't be there so has to be in that other box only three is missing so there goes three this was not really that big of a floor pretty small one that still seemed to do nothing so what exactly has happened here do we have anything else any hidden tile hmm, I'm not sure why has this not opened up okay I'm just going to walk around the corners just to check for hidden tiles oh no hidden tiles here are some open tiles which I did not notice because I did not scroll down enough so yes this is not a short floor either I have no idea what to do with that I'm just taking it outside but this seems quite obvious we have uh, five symbols and five stones of that color simply place them on the symbols of their own color and we should be done since white is in the bottom most I placed that first the yellow will go in next the order of the other three does not matter because all three are open and there goes the pink so we will have three activated levers we probably need four of them so let's move on to the fourth side we should be almost done this would be the last thing to do here and then we can go ahead and collect that activation crystal these seem to be interconnected or something maybe one gate will open the next and something like that I have a white one here so let me place that it will probably open some other gate 
Eight has opened all three of them. That blue opened another one. And that has opened yet another uh, gate to the lever. Uh, red one is on the corner on the other side. I'll leave it here. I'll pull that later from the other side. But before that, let me place this one. Okay, just one more gate that will be activated by the lever inside the red part. Okay, that that's great. So this final one should unlock the central one. That's great. Let's go back now. We probably do have some missed tiles, a lot of them maybe. Anyways, let's activate that crystal, I mean brazier. And now go back. So this is the way back to the center and the gates have opened up. Okay, we do have a lot of tiles here so we might not have missed. No, there are still a lot of them so we do have missed. But anyway, that's the activation crystal and that completes the quest. Alright, so... Even the second civilization is complete. Now before we move on to my own civilization, it's time to find the missing tiles. We have 12 of them and if I had at least 2 more, I probably could have used the last tile finder. Hmm, let's see. Okay, I don't know how deep I should go into this maze. We probably have uncovered all the rooms already. But let me have a quick look just in case I missed something. Oh, I found a hidden tank. Interesting. This is puzzling. There are two pages here and has to be some logic behind the scene. Okay, I kind of think that the lower path always takes to an exit. That's what I feel. Like a bonus, that's what I was checking for. And this again took us out. Okay, 
It's like I'm going on the same path, uh, not anymore. Uh, this is going to lead me to the exit. Oh no, I kind of want to go back, but possibly can't. Let's try this. This is the final area, but still doesn't look like we missed anything. So where could we possibly go? Deeper, let's try there. I might want to check back again because I think I have left a path which I may not have explored, so I'm going to try and check for that. I also looked up a logic for a hidden bonus. So that logic kind of was... Uh, there are some stones here in the corners. Mini stones. Those will not give a bonus directly, but they possibly will unlock I mean the light the braziers that were outside. Oh they gave a bonus here itself. That's not what I thought, but anyway that's nice. No way I'm taking the lower path. The lower path always takes back to the start. And uh, here are some more stones. These can also be activated. I mean, in the corners there are mini stones. They could be placed there for a bonus. That's our bonus. Now I just want to go back outside, so I'm going to use the lower path. And now the two braziers have lightened up. This special room has unlocked and it has some really cool things. So this is one perfect bonus which you should never miss. If you are watching the video, you will figure this out. I mean, you will see this. Unfortunately, none of those count as tiles, so we are still missing tiles. So let's continue deeper and try look for the tiles. Mm, this kind of looks asymmetric to me. Any hidden wall? That is not the case though. Just checking for possible hidden tiles, but I don't see any. I guess we should go deeper.
none here but yes there could be a bonus here we have a lot of stones and we have some mini stones in the corners there We have one here, we... I can possibly see it because of the cobweb. But, yeah, the general logic is... There are some mini stones in the corners. So I am simply placing all the stones in the corners. Some of the stones are not directly visible, but... Because it's a corner, they are there. corner uh, what did we miss maybe the corner at the entry also counts no it does not oh this corner That's still not enough. Okay, one more corner here. And the entrance is probably not a valid corner. But down here is one possible corner. Yes, that is it. A lot of experience and some coins. So yes, while finding the last tiles, we have also got several bonuses. Now the last tiles, I'm really not sure because I'm not seeing any hidden tiles at all. So I'm thinking of using the last tile finder. And it's under refresh, but I don't mind spending gems. I have a lot of them. Uh, has it frozen? Okay, activated. Okay, quickly tell us the tiles back there. Oh, that was the hidden tile that I missed. Something seemed suspicious, but I didn't pay enough attention. That looks like all of the tiles and we are finally done. So thank you for watching. See you in the Mayan Civilization.